Hello, and welcome back to the Michigan Conservative Roundtable. Mac here doing a solo today, and we're going to do a little bit different video than we've ever done before. Uh, on our video, the phony baloney poll numbers in which we talked about how the polls had uh, Joe Biden ahead by 16 points, yada, 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 and we thought they were BS. So, uh, on that, maybe a week or so after we posted that, we had a gentleman called Mr. OC, I think it was 13, and uh, he takes issue with what we're saying. Uh, his first comment was, and I'm going to put this his whole statement in the description box in case he decides to take it off so you'll all see what I'm talking about. Who is trying to steal the election now, he asks. Republicans. How is trying to get reelected via the courts? Trump. I think he meant who is trying to get elected. Who is outside county offices shouting, stop the count? Trump supporters. To not count the votes is the definition of uh, undemocratic, it's dictator stuff. Okay, let's talk about those one by one. Who's trying to steal the election? It's still Democrats. It's always been Democrats. It's only been Democrats. It's all that crap is happening in Democrat-controlled states. Uh, 450,000 ballots with just Joe Biden's name on it. No down-ballot votes. That seems suspicious to practically anyone. Uh, who's outside the offices? Protesters. Peaceful protesters. They're not burning police cars. They're not stomping on people. They're not setting fires. That's what you guys do. Uh, not counting the votes. So, if you find a vote that's illegal, it should still be counted in your mind? I know you folks out in uh, Lama form uh, like to have uh, voting for everybody, no matter whether they're a citizen or not. Yada, yada, yada about that. So he moves on to say, I believe you are too gun community centric in your point of view of America. We want to be free, man. And we've made so few videos related to guns. I don't know where you're getting that from. Maybe it's from your, your bigotry that you have for people who live in the Midwest. He goes on to say, city people don't hunt. That's a damn lie, and I'm going to ask you, if you're a hunter, to say so. In, in what city you live in, in the comment section. They don't own 10 plus guns. Very few people do. Very few people own 10 plus guns. And they did, don't sit home cranking out reloads. Most people don't reload. All your comments bring me to a Re Ronald Reagan quote. It's not that you're ignorant. It's just that you know so much of what isn't so. That's clearly the case with this gentleman. And I'll use that term loosely. Uh, the protests were overwhelmingly peaceful, but the media shows a few violent riots. A few violent riots, okay. I'm sorry, excuse me, I want to be correct. A few violent, a few violent ones. There were quite a few violent ones. 55, 60 days in Portland of violent riots. I guess, you know, if no one's necessarily killed in them, which people were, uh, then it's not a violent, it's not violence. Uh, overwhelmingly peaceful? Get a dictionary, pal, because you don't know what words mean. Uh, he goes on to say, if you look up the stats, if you don't care to believe me, city and suburbs realize they are affecting their day-to-day -day lives isn't gun rights, but it is social services, minimum wage, and health care. Bullshit, except for health care. People aren't worried about social services in the cities. People who work take care of themselves. They don't need the government, like you panty waste do, need to take care of them. This fantasy that rural people are snipers and ready-made and ready -made soldiers is a, fan, a fantasy. Never said they were uh, uh, snipers or ready-made soldiers. Uh, that's your fantasy, pal, not ours. He goes on to say, especially the rural are sitting at a 30 point 30 plus BMI with your diabetes and high high blood pressure they ain't fighting shit I'm from California and some of these people who moved to Texas but it's not to get away from liberal policies no it's to get away from far left radical policies not liberal policies far left radical that's who they're escaping from you can't live with you people because you don't tolerate any point of view but your own and you make that pretty clear in your little note here and as to who's going to fight 
We're talking about defending yourself and your property. We're not talking about going out and, and uh, doing uh, urban combat. Never said any such thing. But in your bigoted mind, you imagine that we've said things we have not said. Uh, and if you, you want to find out what the rural people will do, get your ass off the chaise lounge and come on out here. You can find out in person. And he goes on with some more drivel. I won't even get into it. I'll let you read it in the description box. Uh, Biden didn't get huge rallies by far because he chooses not to host super spreader COVID rallies. COVID has been a massive scam. 99.97% of people overcome it. They get well. It's only the, the most vulnerable who Gretchen Whitmer and Andrew Cuomo murdered in nursing homes by bringing six people, sick people to the most vulnerable, most vulnerable among us. I'm sorry, pal. If you don't want to watch our channel anymore, that's up to you. I, I thank you for, for watching and leaving comments. Uh, I, I don't consider you a troll. I, you know, I'll, I will always consider your point of view, but mostly I think you're just full of it. Try leaving that little uh, Orange County area you live in and visit the rest of the country. You'll find out it isn't what you think. So with that, I'll close with be safe, watch your six, especially your kind, and don't tread on me.